Hello and welcome to another broadcast of the Inspiration Podcast, Episode 5. After recounting in a nutshell the reasons why African marriages fail in the United States, I am back to affirm that African experts can indeed live a happy life here as they so desire in the United States. African marriages and African children can succeed here in the United States. As we know, success depends on good organization and a thorough planning. Thankfully, the internet is making it possible to find all the information necessary to properly plan this expert move and make your dream come true. So, I will suggest that before you leave Africa and prior to filling out any application for schools or for a job, it is important for you to do this. Number one, make sure that you have a good command of the English language. Number two, get some information from the American embassy in the city where you live. And take the TOEFL exam. It will help you with immigration and acceptance at schools and universities in the U.S. Number three, work and save money as much as you can. Maintain a good record of your bank account. You will need much money. Number four, monitor your social media involvement. Make sure to publish clean content and avoid associating yourself with bad people. Number five, thoroughly research institutions or universities that are of interest to you and contact them in advance to have a better understanding of their requirements. Number six, research the city and state where you will migrate. Find out about their diversity, housing, transportation, schools for your children, if any are coming with you, climate, services that are free to the public, and most importantly to people with your immigration status. Health care here is a big concern because everybody gets sick, whether they like it or not. You will want to know how much it can cost for you and your family to get an insurance policy. Find out about religious activities the proximity of a hospital to the location where you will reside. You may also want to find out about grocery stores and farmers markets in the vicinity. Find out 
if there are Africans in the area or support groups where you could eventually have an opportunity to go and mingle and learn from others who have already gone on the journey before you. Number seven, immigration is the most important key to your successful move to the United States and your peaceful stay here. Refer to the Office of International Programs at the institution or university where you want to apply at. They will tell you what kind of visa you need as a student who wants to work during the stay here so they can financially support their family. Number eight, contact a reputable immigration lawyer who is accredited to work with American universities. You will need to enlist your, the help if your spouse and children are to migrate with you. The lawyer will give you information on how to proceed. The consular section at the American Embassy of the city where you live will also give you information about the process to obtain your visa. Number nine. If you simply want to migrate here, work and live peacefully, do so by also following the legal process. Always, always prioritize the legal process. That is what will give you peace of mind. Visit the website of the State Department of the United States and search for the diversity visa program. Apply for this lottery and wait to see if you are a lucky winner. I fail to mention here that the diversity visa is actually a lottery program where you apply and at a certain date the state department will select randomly throughout the world in the event that your name is randomly selected. You will be instructed by the State Department on how to proceed. As always, and in all that you do while you are contemplating a move to the United States, remember to do ample research from trustworthy sources and follow, always follow the legal process. Number 10, when you are sure that you will move to America, no matter how long you stay, according to your visa, you also need to do the following. If you are a homeowner in your country, whether your home is mortgaged or free and clear, locate a real estate company that can secure a good tenant for you. 
and take care of your property while you are abroad. Establish with them how they will maintain your property and wire you the remaining funds after collecting the rents. Too often, many Africans entrusted their property into the hands of people they trusted, but found themselves in a situation where the property has either been occupied by the trustees themselves, or rent are being collected for the benefit of the trustees while the property is poorly maintained and you, the homeowner, you receive no proceeds. This results in fights later on and you may want to avoid such occurrence because remember, you want your peace of mind to live quietly and enjoy your stay in the United States. Finally, my, my suggestion to all who dream of living as an expat in the United States is to plan accordingly and move smoothly. I will put a few links in the description here to help you all. And these links will be for the State Department, the Diversity Program Lottery, and the website of a lawyer. This is not to be construed as advertisement or as me being sponsored by any of these entities. As always, thank you for your support. Make your comments after listening to each episode of my podcast and let me know how you feel and how I can improve this podcast. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my podcast. The information I provide here can help many people to avoid headaches while they are planning or contemplating a move to the United States. Thank you again and God bless you.